Hi, Eric Schoenfeld here at Web 2.0 Summit with Bill Gross. Bill Gross, the uh, founder of Idea Lab and Uber Media, and uh, you just launched a new product from Uber Media called Chime In. Can yes. you explain what is that? The goal of Chime In is to make an interest network where people can find much more relevant social content. Mm -hmm. We're trying to help filter the signal to noise of your social stream by helping you get the best stuff up to the top. And we do that through a number of methods. One, we have communities built around specific interests. But two, we allow you to resort your timeline by different criteria to help you use the crowdsource wisdom of everybody using the product to get the best stuff up to the top. So do I follow my interests or do I follow people or both? You can follow both and you can even follow part of a person. Mm -hmm. So if you like Robert Scoble's tech posts, but you don't care about his pictures of kids at the beach mm -hmm. or what he had for lunch, you can choose just to follow his tech posts. That extra filtering dramatically improves the relevance of the social experience. Does Robert have to categorize or tag which of his posts are tech and which are kids, or is that something that you do in the back end somehow? Robert can tag them, but we also do it automatically if he doesn't. And all of that is just to get the best stuff up to the top and the stuff that you care about the most in your stream. It's really about the signal to noise problem that's happening because now that a billion people are using social media and they all have an equal voice, better filtering tools had to be developed to try and get the stream ma more manageable. Right, so a lot of companies are, are now sort of focusing on this interest graph as a layer above the social graph. And I think there's, there's different layers that people are using as different filters, right? There's location has been yep, coming yep, along yep. for a while. There's interest. Uh, what, why do you think, why did you select interest as the filtering layer that you think is going to make, make Chime In unique? Well, I love social media. I'm completely smitten by it. And I follow a lot of people, both on Twitter and Google Plus, and also I have connections on Facebook. However, I follow them only selected now by people. Mm -hmm. I have to follow the whole person and get everything that they have to say. There are certain subsets of those things that I'm really passionate about and interested in, and I just think focusing on that will dramatically improve the signal's noise and make the experience better. Is there a location filter as well that if I want to see, you know, people posting near me about a certain topic, that's like two filters or uh, not? Absolutely, no. because one of the tags that you can put on anything you create is where it was taken, where it's happening. Right. And that gives the ability to find out people that are in your building, in your city, in your neighborhood, anywhere you like. So tell us a little bit about you always think about the business model, right? Right from the, the gate. Uh, and you have already incorporated sort of a business model for brands to have what's equivalent of a fan page, right? On Chime In, which is both mobile and on the web. How is this different from, say, a Facebook fan page? What we're trying to do is give the brand, or anyone, much more expression capability. A brand is a brand because they want to express themselves exactly the way they behave and about how they feel and how they're committed to certain things. We're now giving them more control over that page and we're giving them the real estate adjacent to their content for them to monetize. Now they might monetize that with sponsorship, they might monetize that with a promotion, they might not even monetize it, they might just want to promote a charity or some right. other thing. But we're finally giving them the real estate adjacent to their content. And they really want that because they want to be able to promote the things they care about right where the social activity is going on, not only at their website, but in the social streams themselves. So as opposed to Facebook fan page where Facebook places the ads on the side and they make money off of those ads, you're giving that real estate to the brands themselves and then you're making money off of the other pages. Exactly, and we're saying for the brand pages, celebrity pages, content pages that people create, communities, the rev share is 100 zero, meaning the brand or the other person gets 100% of the revenue and we get zero. We're only looking to make money elsewhere on the Chime In platform, but not around the content that the brands create. Right, so how long have you been working on this and how many people did it take to build this? We've been working on this for about five months. We have uh -huh. about 40 engineers. 40? Uh, both wow. in our office in Pasadena and in India. And we're very excited to launch this here today. So why did it take 40 engineers? Well, this is a pretty big project. When you see all the different features that we had built in there, all the stuff for the marketplace, all the stuff for the advertisers, and then a very modest sounding thing, like being able to sort the timeline by other criteria, by number of likes, by number of shares, by number of comments. Right. That's a huge architectural change from every other social network out there, which merely shows everything in time descending. The problem with time descending is it's not always going to bring the most relevant stuff to the top. If you care about the urgent thing that just happened, mm -hmm. Steve Jobs just died, this earthquake just happened, time descending is great. But if you want to find the most relevant thoughts on something, time descending is not the way to do it. So we had to architect a whole new way of thinking about a timeline, we call it a timeline, to try and bring the best stuff to the top. And is there a way that people can vote up different uh, posts? or different Absolutely. Right. Uh, every post can be liked, even comments can be voted up and voted down. And here's a challenge that I see in social media. You go to a, a good post, there's 100 comments, 
there's four thoughtful, thoughtful ones and 96 bogus ones. Mm -hmm. And you've got to read all 96 to find the four good ones. With our system, you can upvote those, and the good ones are just going to be at the top.